Sarah Ferguson breaks her silence over ups and downs after surprise Christmas appearance. Sarah Ferguson summed up her eventful 2023 in a lengthy message as Britain welcomed the new year. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about the British royal family. Sarah Ferguson announced she is just getting started and pledged to have much more to do as she enters 2024 with great positivity. As the UK was ringing in the new year, the Duchess of York shared a new picture of herself wearing a sleek green dress on the photo-sharing platform Instagram to wish her 669,000 followers a happy new year. She wrote, I hope everyone is enjoying their holiday celebrations today. 2023 hasn't been without its ups and downs, trials, lessons, laughter, miracles and joy. Sarah, known by friends and fans also as Fergie, went on to sum up the very eventful year that just passed, acknowledging it included joys and concerns. She wrote, I made the Sunday Times top 5 bestseller list for my historical romance novel, A Most Intriguing Lady. I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I beat breast cancer and now I have got a Derek on my left. As she explained in an episode of her podcast, Tea Talks, Fergie dubbed her reconstructed left breast, Derek. Candidly speaking about her diagnosis and therapy, she said during her program, I am just coming to terms with my new best friend, Derek, on my left, he's called, Derek. He's very important because he saved my life. In her end-of-year post, Sarah also mentioned the birth of her third grandchild and second son of Princess Eugenie, Ernest George Ronnie Brooksbank. She said, I have a new grandchild. I have had the pleasure of meeting some very inspiring people from around the world with beautiful stories to tell. I have discovered within myself that I, too, have more stories to tell. I am 64 and just getting started. I hope everyone takes time to reflect and to look forward with love and positivity. Happy New Year! 2024 This reflective message came just days after the Duchess surprised royal fans by joining the rest of the royal family for the Christmas Day service at St. Mary Magdalene Church in Sandringham. Sarah hadn't taken part in the traditional walkabout for more than three decades following her divorce from Prince Andrew. Her appearance suggested King Charles may be keen on mending long-standing family wounds. However, it is believed it was the late Queen Elizabeth II who had started to bring back the Duchess into the royal fold by inviting her, in recent years, to Sandringham on Christmas Day and Balmoral Castle during summer holidays.